a consolidated list of economic indicators that kind of set the stage for what the government needs to do to fix our economy. Avni? Well, that's right, Tanvi. It is going to be a very difficult uh, budget for Finance Minister Nimra Sita Raman and uh, we'll have to see what comes out because, uh, you know, before we talk about what is expected and what should be done, the context in which we are today uh, needs to be established. It's a very difficult time because of the slowdown we've been facing and not just on one or two fronts, it's on multiple levels that the slowdown uh, we are seeing. So there are multiple indicators over the se last several months that we've put together that point to the kind of uh, intense slowdown that we are in the midst of. Let's let's just go through all of them. So the first indicator, of course, is the World Bank cutting growth forecast to 5% from 6.5%. Now, there is usually tinkering done with the forecasts uh, by the World Bank, but this extent of a uh, slash in the forecast is something that we don't see very often. So that is one big point of concern. Uh, the second indicator, if we can go to the Ministry of Statistics, uh, says that the economy will grow at a slower pace of 5% in 2019-2020. And here we're talking about just a few years ago, we were at an, a pace of 7 to 8%. And now we are uh, slowing down to as low as 5% uh, this year is what the expectation currently is. The third indicator is that SBI's own research team has projected an even lower growth rate of 4.6% uh, for India. We've already touched 4.5% in the previous quarter. Uh, so 4.6% is what SBI is projecting uh, for India. And that's a multi-level low. Uh, the next indicator is car sales, which is a very important indication of uh, how spending is slowing down in the country. That fell 8.4% in December 2019. And it's not just December. Over the last several months, over the last year, we've seen car sales really taking a hit and slowing down. So that's one indicator. Uh, the next indicator, of course, is inflation, which went up to 7.35%. That is the retail inflation. Uh, again, one big point of concern because we're looking at a slowing economy along with high retail inflation. That is definitely not a good combination. And inflation wasn't a concern even a few months ago. This has happened in the last few months. The next indicator, of course, is food inflation which shot up to 14%. And the reason for that are things like the onion prices, which we saw skyrocket over the last several months. They still continue to be high. So food inflation, people having to spend more money on the food that they eat is the other issue. Next issue is uh, as far as CEOs across the globe worrying about a possible recession in 2020. Remember, we are looking at a global slowdown as well across the entire world economies are facing trouble. And India is, of course, uh, hit by uh, that as well. And of course, IMF for now also slashing the growth forecast for India. So after World Bank, it was IMF, but we just saw just a couple of minutes ago how the IMF said that India is uh, faced an abrupt slowdown, but it is not facing the risk of recession. So some silver lining over there. IMF cut the growth forecast for India by 1.2% uh, to 5.8% for 2020 21 And finally, S.C. Garg, the ex-finance secretary, said that the center's FY20 tax collections will fall short by 2.5 lakh crores. So that's a huge shortfall in taxes that we're looking at. Remember, taxes are the one of the most important ways that the government actually earns money. So this shortfall will then impact how much the government can actually spend and how much it can cut taxes, which is what all of us are hoping for this time around, Tanvi. So yes, it is going to be a difficult budget uh, for Finance Minister. Oh yes, absolutely. And we have to keep in mind that a lot of announcements already happened uh, between the last budget in July and now a series of announcements, especially for the industry in the corporate tax cut.